about to show you what a half a million dollar experience looks like. I promise this is going to blow your mind. In this video, you will find out why it costs a quarter of a million dollars to simulate going to space. Why it costs $50,000 to explore the depths of our oceans. Whoa! It's coming right at us. And every other experience we tried along the way. I am standing on top of the tallest building in the world! To the cheapest experience I could find. Riding a camel. How long can I ride this camel for a dollar? One dollar, two minutes. Deal. Yeah. That's a great one dollar experience. Yeah. Hold on tight. Wait, hold on tight, why? Oh, 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 oh my god. I wanted to ride camels in Egypt, but they're way more than a dollar, so I'm gonna throw the pyramids up and post. Yo! Yeah, it's beautiful. Dude, this is a workout to stay on the stage. I mean, I'm so high up oh, in the sky. Now you know what it's like to be me and Chandler. Okay. Well, one dollar only got us two minutes, and that time is up. Let's go have dinner in the sky. For $10,000, you can go 3,000 feet in the sky with a chef who uses this hot air balloon as her kitchen. You can see the shadow from the balloon over there in the field. Dude. This is a little higher than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. But this isn't your everyday dinner at 3,000 feet in the air. This Michelin star chef uses the flame from the hot air balloon itself to literally cook the food for the meal she's preparing. Miss the Beast. Oh. Yo! That's our next course of food, bro. Now we're about to have fish that they cooked with the fire from the hot air balloon. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Jimmy, this is amazing. Look how beautiful it is down there. Such an amazing view while we eat. This fish never dreamed of being this high up. <laughs> if you got an extra 10 grand and want to impress a girl, I would recommend this. Every single one of these 10 gourmet courses was phenomenal, but I still had one question I needed to ask. As a Michelin star chef, what do you think of this Feastables bar? Very good in balance. And what I like is the crunch and the chocolates. Feastables is now Michelin star brewed. The 10K experience was very beautiful. Amazing. Up next is the 50K experience. And Chandler and Carl have no idea what I have in store for them. What do you think of the yacht? I think it's beautiful. It's pretty. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think it costs 50 grand for the day? Uh, no. Okay. So look over there. We're gonna go on a submarine expedition. Oh my god. You guys ready to explore the floor of the ocean? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Oh my. What? We're not doing that. Let's head over. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Let's go explore the floor of the ocean. Okay. All right. This is awesome. Wow, I can already see fish. Look, we haven't even gone down yet. Look, it's a barracuda. You guys want to scrape the floor of the ocean? We can. We can do anything. We have this entire submarine to ourselves and can explore whatever we want. Let's do everything. Except crash it. We are not allowed to do that. Okay. And to make sure we got the very best angles down here, we paid scuba divers to follow the submarine. Isn't this cool? Let's communicate with them. Shark behind. Everyone freak out, okay? Start freaking out. And while we're underwater, Tariq and Nolan are also on a $50,000 safari in Africa. And we're going to see if we see more cool creatures down here than they do over there. Spoiler, we will. This is gorgeous. All right, let's go find the king of the jungle. We cannot leave Africa until we see a lion. Do you understand? I do understand. Why did you point at me like that? Look, 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 look. Oh, we're on! Yo, it's cool. You scared him. Oh. You scared him. I'm sorry, I shouldn't yell. I'm not supposed to yell. The zebras! I feel like zebras would taste good. Like, if I was a lion, I'd always go for a zebra. They just look thick. What? Bro, this is so worth $50,000. Yeah, this is so worth Jimmy's $50,000. Wait, Carl, what if instead of being a ship, that's a submarine? We're taking this thing back up immediately. Yeah. Wow. What? Look how, how close we are to those rocks. Oh. Whoa. Is it okay how close we are? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. All right. But we weren't the only ones getting up close and personal. Zebras, where are you going? Hey, buddy. Wait, don't go. Come back. Patrick? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Well, there's two right behind you. Oh, they are unnervingly close. They're very close. <laughs> oh, it's awfully oh, close. It is coming towards oh, us. Oh, oh, oh. He's got charged by an elf. It's oh, oh, the coolest thing ever. Look at him. That thing is a unit. That's my dad. This is way cooler than a submarine. I'd rather see this than a fish. Also, my heart's beating out of my chest right now. And that was the 50K experience. What we have coming up next is even better. This thing pales in comparison to the $250,000 zero gravity experience. This company will fly you up and then nosedive, creating a zero gravity environment inside the plane. The $250,000 experience starts now. <laughs> oh, my water! Oh, 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 oh my god! What is going on? Oh my god! Oh, I can't stop floating! Go long! Oh, that was awesome! Oh my god!
gosh, this is sick. On this next drop, we're gonna race to the other side. Turn on zero gravity. Turns out racing without gravity doesn't work so well. But luckily, Carl had a better idea. I'm gonna test out a leaf blower. All right, wait for it. Oh! <laughs> He's spinning! Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. He's actually spinning! Oh, man, stop! Oh my god! <laughs> and before we turn the gravity off again, we're gonna try to make some of our Mr. Beast Lab swarms in zero gravity. You ready? Yeah! Whoa. No way, let's try to make some! I created the coolest toys ever. All you have to do is pour water into the tube, shake it, and you'll find out which swarms you got. I'm gonna squirt some water! Give me some! Ow! Oh, we're getting swarmed by these toys right now. This isn't as easy as I thought, but anyways, there's over 119 swarms to collect. You can find swarms in packs of 12, packs of 5, and packs of 2. Available at Walmart, Target, and Amazon in the United States, and everywhere around the world at your top toy retailers. It's my favorite toy. I'm waiting. Go weightless. get it at your local Walmart. These are the most exciting toys this holiday season, and they're flying off the shelves. Carl, catch! Make sure you buy Mr. Beast Labs before they're sold out. Oh, that's gonna be cool. <laughs> Hold on, Nolan, catch. Go here. Oh, God. Yeah. Body slam. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have no idea how the $500,000 experience is going to top this, but let's go find out. And after going all around the entire world to film this video, we are at the $500,000 experience. This is the craziest view of ever. Unlike any spectacle seen before in the history of mankind, my friends and I are about to see what half a million dollars can allow you to experience in the most luxurious metropolis in the entire world, the city of Dubai. A place carved from the desert, but created for pleasure. And at the end of this video, I'm going to become one of the few individuals in history to stand on top of the tallest building in the world. We went all out. It is going to blow your mind. Let's go have some fun. How are we here? So after we found our way off this 500 foot picture frame, we made our way over to this castle of a hotel. Woo! Wow. This is insane. There's water in our backyard. The first two floors of this hotel room are magnificent, but the coolest one by far is the third level that's completely underwater. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. Whoa. Welcome to Atlantis. We love you all, except for you, Carl. Sorry, man. He went into a thing with sharks just to make fun of me. For the record, there's over 80 sharks in this tank. And later in this experience, we're actually going to be swimming with them. And for the cherry on top to wrap all this up, come on, we're going to go skydiving. No way. Yes! <laughs> Dude, falling from thousands and thousands of feet in the air. Don't worry about that. Let's go race F1 cars. Yeah. And what better place to do so than at the Dubai Autodrome, home to some of the fastest cars in the entire city. Just grab whatever car you want. Let's go race. All right. Let's go. And I called up some of the biggest local creators to have a field day with these supercars. Let's have some fun. <laughs> They're going so fast. And this is just the first of many experiences we're going to be doing here. We are just getting started. I'm Let's ready go. to race. <laughs> Oh no, Jimmy! No! No! Come on, Grandma! I don't think my mom will be happy watching me race. I don't think she could drive slower if she wanted to. That's illegal, okay? That's like, like that's really illegal. While my friends and I were pretending to be race car drivers, <laughs> Carl was getting ready to drive an actual Formula level race car. I look so cool now. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Off to a rocky start. driving a formula car! This is the best day of my life! For the price of this experience, we actually got to keep this brand new Lamborghini. I want to enjoy it a little bit. Oh! In case you're curious, this bad boy is fast. Let's go to an NBA game all the way in Abu Dhabi. But to be honest, guys, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to drive around sports cars. And plus, we cannot find a parking spot. So I'm just going to find someone to give this thing to. Do any of you watch the Mr. Beast channel? Yeah. That says subscribe. Can I just give you this Lamborghini? Uh, I prefer someone else to have it. 
What? What the heck just happened? Hey, sir, security, can you come over here? Oh, he's subscribed. Can I just give you this Lambo? Yeah, please. All right, get in. This is officially your Lamborghini. I'm actually shaking right now. <laughs> this is why you gotta make sure you're subscribed. I'd hate for you to lose a Lamborghini. Hey, boys, what are you doing? We got courtside tickets. Enjoy. I'm so happy. With the Lamborghini now off my hands, I gotta sit courtside at a pro basketball game. <laughs> But instead, it just ended up turning into a photo shoot. Nice to meet you. Then afterwards, I said hi to Steve Harvey. And after that, Russell Westbrook. And with two hundred thousand dollars worth of experiences left to do, up next we got to take over a massive water park. Somehow, in the middle of the desert, hang out with penguins. I heard you're the alpha. That is an alpha thing to do. And since that wasn't enough, I am now in a giant pool with 80 sharks and stingrays. Hello there, sir. Hey, hey, come back here. I was trying to talk to you. It's like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, excuse me, sir. Yo, I got some food. <laughs> I am Aquaman, the king of the sharks. My first decree is the sharks bite him and not me. Agreed? Oh, attack Carl! That is a attack dinosaur! Carl. I am your leader! Attack him! <laughs> no, no, no. That should not exist! I think they just unplugged my oxygen. Well, before this guy turns me into fish food, let's go get our own dinner at a restaurant straight out of the future. Hello, everybody. Jamie, you go sit in there. What is this, Jamie? I don't know. I don't think I've ever sat at a restaurant this far away from my friends. Gentlemen, prepare yourself for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Oh! oh. Whoa. Whoa! We will start with our first appetizer and take it in one bite. Cheers. Cheers. What if I don't like it? Is it good? This is amazing. That whole plate was just that one bite? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa. What is going on? Oh! Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Shoot. Whoa. Whoa. What? It's like a Call of Duty mission. Am I getting hacked? I thought this was a restaurant, not a movie theater. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> This nine course meal is surrounded by full 360 interactive visuals that change based on the dish. Yo! Whoa. Wait, does it, oh, it responds to your touch. <laughs> Boys, we're now defending Earth. I'm impressively bad at this. But even though the room was impressive. Dude, they're getting tripped up on my water right now. <laughs> Look at that. It was the one of a kind food and drinks that made this experience truly unique. You can touch the glass to react with you. Whoa. We got to try nine mouth-watering courses from freshly caught sea Seafood. Whoa. Oh my god. To Golden Wagyu Burger. You approve? Oh yeah. Hey, we found one Chandler likes. They even had one final course specialized just for us. Who is that? Dude, it's Chandler. That is not. <laughs> bro, that is not me. <laughs> but anyways, let's keep the experience going. All we have left before I literally fall out of the sky and climb the tallest building on Earth is to test my fear of heights at a pool suspended in the sky. Look at this oh, view. Man. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Whatever you're seeing right now does not do this justice. No way. Standing over 600 feet in the sky, this 360 degree infinity pool gives you a breathtaking view of every square inch of the city. Let's hop on in, boys. Yeah, I'm getting in. That island behind me is man-made. Everything about this is mind-blowing. Now we're gonna stick this bad boy over the ledge. Jesus, man. Check out the view. Is that not amazing? We're on top of Dubai. All right, guys. It's time we fall from the sky. <laughs> Dude, you're just falling to the earth. No, you're falling to this man-made island. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Buckle up, because what you're about to witness, I never thought I'd do in my entire life. Literal maniacs, who does this willingly? But what would a video about experiences be without attempting to face one of my biggest fears? Falling out of the sky. If I don't make this, still upload the video! This is getting real! No! I have a family! Prepare for takeoff. It gets real. We're going up. I know. Oh, gosh. I can't believe we're actually doing this. This is close. What are the odds I die? I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Approaching 10,000 feet. We are so high. I'm not ready. Jimmy! I'm not ready. Carl, come on. You're going first. Jimmy! I hate you! I hate my life! Ah! Oh, my God! Yeah! We're swimming! Oh god. I'm scared. Bye, baby. I don't want to do this.
I'm scared. You scared? Yeah, we're still pretty high up. <laughs> this is probably my biggest fear ever. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> but I did this for you guys. Ah, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, ah, okay. I'm not dead, I'm alive. Where's Chandler? Did Chandler not jump? Where's Chandler? Chandler either didn't jump or splatted on the ground. Oh God, I hope he didn't jump. <laughs> Sorry Jimmy, I'm not doing it. Well, it's a good thing I didn't ask Chandler to join me on the biggest experience of this whole video because behind me is the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building on earth. And to wrap up this experience, I'm gonna go stand all the way on top of it. The first step of reaching the peak of this 2,700 foot building is taking a series of elevators over 160 stories into the sky. But as for the remaining 900 feet, I had no choice but to climb to the top myself. This thing is tall. That's a lot of ladders. I underestimated how hard it is to get up to the top. But even after a full hour of climbing, there was still a lot of skyscraper left to go. I thought I finally made it to the top, but there's still a lot left. This thing never ends. Step by step, I started to question whether I really wanted to keep going. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Surely we're almost there. Take that as a no. But despite all this endurance, I reminded myself that this was my moment to be one of the few individuals ever to experience standing on top of the tallest building on earth. I knew there was no turning back. All right, home stretch. Woo! All right. I made it! I am standing on top of the tallest building in the world! This is insane! Holy crap, I am high up. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, I shouldn't have looked down. That's scary. I might puke. Oh. I'll admit, Beastable stays better on the ground. Because on the ground, I'm not on the verge of passing out. I'm so afraid of heights. I find time and time again that when I face my fears, I usually end up enjoying it and learning a lot about myself. I'm very grateful for this experience. And I would encourage you guys to go outside your comfort zone. Do something you wouldn't normally do. I think you'll end up enjoying it and learn a lot about yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the effort we put in this video. I love you guys.